Hello everyone, my name is Tony and I'm going to explain how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 if your computer does not meet the requirements. We're only going to need to download the Windows 11 image file and make a simple change. You will not need third-party tools or manipulate the image file. I am going to explain how you can easily skip the process that checks compatibility during the installation. I'm going to show you my actual system. As you will see, my computer is a few years old. This processor, it's from 2014, but this computer still works perfectly for the daily tasks and even allows me to play many, many games. It has 24 gigabytes of RAM. I uh, have installed the Windows 10 Home with the 22H2 version. And wait, I have a quite good uh, graphic card for now to play many games. So why isn't Windows 11 working? The requirements are stupid in terms of hardware. I can understand that my board doesn't have TPM. Okay, I will not be able to encrypt the disk. I don't have secure boot either. Okay, but this technology is not going to have poor performance with Windows 11. So let's get started. Let's access to the Microsoft website to download the Windows 11 image file. The current version of Windows 11 on the date I am recording is 23H2. So let's go. We're going to get the Windows 11 disk image. So we're going to select the download, download now. And we are going to select on which language we want it. All right. It's going to take a while. Let's wait for it. All right. Once the file is downloaded, we're going to run it. Okay, and I am going to perform the normal installation so you can see that I cannot install Windows 11 on my computer right now. All right, I am going to select that I don't want to receive any updates at this time. They will arrive once the system is installed and I don't need to send data to improve the installation. Let's go. Uh, there we go. My processor is not support and I don't have TPM. So let's get on it. Let's close this. All right, let's start again. But so you can understand this better, we will first go inside our main disk. All right, now we are going to activate the view of hidden elements in the file explorer. We're going view and we activate this check. Notice that the folder of lighter colors appeared the one, the one, the one, and the one, right? Uh, that's uh, hidden folders that we do not see by default. So let's run the setup program again. But this time we're going to leave it open without, without going to the next step, sorry. Open another file explorer. And we are open again 
the setup file. All right, we are not going to do anything here. All right, okay, let's go inside this new Windows BT folder that has appeared in our hard disk. You can see it. We open it and let's go inside the sources folder. All right, here we are going to look for the next file that I will show you now. This one. And we are simply going to copy its full name, including its extension. So rename, select everything and copy. All right. The next step is to delete that file from the folder. There we go. And next, we open Notepad. All right. We leave it as it appears and we save it as the name of the file that we have deleted, for example, on the desktop. Save as its name in the desktop. We have here the new file, all right? We will copy this new file to the same folder where we have previously deleted the previous one. We can close the notepad and there in the folder, now we copy this file and paste it. Right, we can close this file explorer and I want to. Okay, with this file change, the installation will not check our computer and will run directly. I will continue ahead so you can see that this browser is an update and I will not lose application or files. But as always, we recommend that have a backup before making any changes. Let's go. So we skip the checking, right? All right, as you can see, I can keep my files and application and continue the process to upgrade to Windows 11. If for some reason, once you have updated to Windows 11, you don't like it and want to return to Windows 10, you have 10 days to make the decision. All right, thank you for coming this far. I hope this video is useful to you and that you understand how the process works. In the description, we'll leave all the information and comments are open below. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.